the different types of um, of crane acts of uh, crane accidents and crane types that we have in uh, the commercial, industrial, highway, and residential, uh, just to see so you can see exactly where they are petitioned out. As I said, the study does break out each one of those industries, so you can look at cranes overall, or you can look at cranes just in the industrial and refining market, commercial, highway, or residential. Um, one of the things that was really interesting, uh, and I had a, um, I forget who it was, one of my uh, colleagues mentioned, I wonder how many crane accidents occur with no load on the hook. So every single one that we look at, uh, uh, we uh, look to see was, did the accident occur, was there a load on the hook when the accident occurred? And if you look at the highway, uh, road and bridge, uh, almost 50% of the accidents occur with no load on the hook. And that's a startling number to me. Uh, and also, just overall, uh, almost 30, uh, uh, 32% of the accidents overall in the industry with no load on the hook. Uh, some of the other issues uh, from a commercial standpoint, uh, riggers lead the way as uh, being uh, uh, contributory to, to accidents, lead the, lead the way there along with the operator in that commercial uh, in the commercial industry industrial uh, operator 40 percent uh, and also in the residential area uh, which as I said indic indicated earlier uh, you have the least amount of experience per se just in lifts and cranes uh, the lift director and the rigger uh, are by far one of the leading uh, leading causes um, if we look at overall comparisons uh, on some of the other issues, um, uh, with uh, if we look at power line contact at the bottom, uh, highway, road, and bridge leads the way. Uh, and I'll tell you that 90% of these are dealing primarily with uh, uh, moving construction barriers, the, the CTB, the concrete traffic barriers, or K-rails, or Jersey barriers. Uh, invariably, they're being done at night. They're being done rapidly, and even though you may have uh, aware of power lines, you get busy, you forget about it, and the average number of deaths is, is almost three per power line contact because you end up with uh, someone on the ground usually gets uh, killed first, and someone else comes in to help him and then a third one, and then so it ends up being uh, very, very, very tragic. Uh, boom impact, too. You're in close 